This is Pangaea as described by modern science and geology. All the heavy land masses are on one side of the Earth positioned exactly as proposed by accepted theory. The granitic rock and basalts that make up the massive island weigh nearly three times as much as the ocean water on the opposite side of the Earth. The ocean is an average of 2.5 miles deep, or just about 4 kilometers deep. 4 kilometers of water against 4 kilometers of granites and basalt. We add to the Pangaea side an average half mile above sea level of the continent. The Pangaea side is heavily weighted, more than 4 to 1 as a result. This means that the center of gravity of the Earth had to be shifted toward the Pangaea side by 4 or 5 kilometers. Water, being opportunistic, will shift with the center of gravity. And this is what would have happened according to the simple, basic physics. As you can see, the middle of Pangaea is sinking beneath the waves. The middle of the gigantic Pacific Ocean's oceanic plate seems to be raising above the ocean's waves as the ocean deserts it. Let's turn the two sides to us. The statements made here are straightforward and factual. Anyone can do the math. Nothing is hidden, nothing misstated. This is not the picture that current geology presents to us. If Pangaea ever existed, this is what the Earth had to look like. Life would have developed separately and differently in mid-Pacific than on the ring island of Pangaea, and evidence of such an island would be in existence, and it's not.